So welcome back to my channel, Embrace Naturals. I'm welcoming all you naturally embraced people. And y'all already know by the title, this video is about how to get over your ex. What did I say? How to get over your ex. How to move on, call it a day, leave them alone for good, whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about in this video is key to getting over your ex. Okay, I'm not saying it's going to be easy or that it's going to happen overnight, but this is key to getting over your ex. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So welcome back to my Woman Chat Wednesday. Y'all already know what time it is. Okay, so the first thing is... Focus on yourself, okay? Focus on yourself. Because you're not completely able to focus on yourself. Usually, you know, like when you're in a relationship. Because when you're in a relationship, you're not just worried about yourself. You're worried about them too. How they may feel, how they may think about certain things. Um, what you can and can't do because you're in a relationship. All those other things. But when you're single and you're also trying to get over your ex, you really need to focus on on yourself you need to focus on yourself mentally emotionally and if it's physically go ahead and focus on yourself in that way because you want to have your mind focused in the right places and you want to be healthy mentally and emotionally because when you break up with somebody especially somebody you've been with for years and years somebody you've been with for a real long time it can be hard to adjust and transition and get used to being single again especially when you haven't been there in a long time you really need to focus on yourself get self-help books um prayer if that's something that you do prayer and read, reading the bible if that's something that you do um talk to the right people and uh just staying keeping your head in the right places Okay, moving on to the second thing, staying positive. The reason why I say to stay positive is because breaking up, it can be a sad and a negative thing. Okay, even if you are the person that broke up with them, it can still be hard for the person that broke up with them. Like, okay, if it was me and someone else, if I break up with you, it can still affect me. So even for me, I need to stay positive, okay? And it can be hard to stay positive in, with something negative going on that really was a part of your life or a sad situation like that because it's kind of like a, a part of you has left, especially when you've been with that person for so long. So you really must stay positive. Focus on the positive, stay positive. You don't want to focus on the bad or sad things or just things that will get you down during this time. It is important to stay positive, whether that's um, doing positive things as far as going out with your friends, hanging out with family, or watching your favorite movies and shows, and just focusing on positive things and goals in your life. Just any way possible to stay positive in this moment. Okay, y'all, so how to get over your ex. This is another key point. It's okay to cry. You don't have to act all hard and act like you don't care and you don't give a... But if you want to cry, go ahead and cry. This is somebody that you was with, somebody that you probably seen a future with, that you wanted this forever and for a long time. If you need to cry, cry it out. Men too. Cry if you need to. Because sometimes crying actually helps and it can relieve some stress and stuff. And crying can actually be better sometimes than to get angry and lash out and then cause riffraff between y'all. Especially if you was the one that did not want to break up and you sitting up here trying to argue with them or fight with them because you mad they broke up with you. Sometimes it's just better to cry, and I mean for both ends. Just cry it out sometimes. But cry it out and then move on. Don't sit and feel sorry for yourself. Don't sit and pity yourself. I mean, this is life. Things happen. It's time to move on. Cry if you need to, but then move on from there. And the reason I say go ahead and move on from there is because your life is going to keep going. Because the world stops for no one. Remember that. 
Okay, next thing. Make sure you get rid of anything. And I mean anything that reminds you of him or her. Because you want to get rid of pictures, texts, and I mean even the sweet texts where he or she made you just blush and smile. Um, clothes, videos. I mean anything that reminds you of him or her. Just get rid of it. No reminiscing because we're letting go. And you can't truly and fully let go when you're sitting and reminiscing on things and purposely holding on to um, sentimental material things. You know, if you're trying to move on, let that go, including pictures, clothes, whatever. You know, during the getting over an X stage, of course, you may end up hearing a song that reminds you of him or her or sitting down and start thinking about them not even doing it on purpose you know that's going to happen that's part of moving on you have to hurt to move on and to grow so i mean that's going to happen but don't purposely keep texting keep look, going back and looking at them and purposely keeping pictures and videos and keep going back and looking at them okay that's something you can help so let that go the best way to move on and get over it is to let go and you just need to learn to move on sometimes people can't let hurt go and they keep it in them even a year or two later and the whole time they truly just mad at themselves. especially when uh the person left you you end up being the one that's having a hard time letting go so it's just best to not hold on to things because you don't want to um have a grudge or end up getting going from sad to being mad or anything my next key point no lurking guys or ladies do not do no lurking i don't care how tempting it may seem or be do not lurk because when you lurk you will get your feelings hurt what you go looking for is what you may find and a lot of people don't even be ready for the truth or ready to see what they find when they go lurking and lurking is a part of holding on and like i said from my last point we are letting go not holding on so yeah guys just don't lurk that's the best thing it's just don't lurk he or she is not your property he or she is not your woman or man no more y'all are not in a relationship don't be worried about what they got going on especially because you know you don't want to give off the wrong impression or you know you just don't want to get hurt just don't lurk and just let it go and just move on from there. okay so my next key point this is something that people love to say especially guys which is go freak somebody else go have sex with somebody else it'll help you get over him it'll help you get over her no it does not when it was someone that you truly loved truly had a relationship with truly cared about having sex with the next person will definitely not help you get over nobody get over the relationship move on any easier or quicker it just does not help at the end of the day what people don't realize is it can actually harm you even more because it can be damaging to your spirit okay and it can also damage you um emotionally you know, you're trying to get over uh, someone, which is part of focusing on yourself. And then when you're too busy going out here having sex with men and women, that's kind of taking the focus off of you. No, you truly need to focus on yourself in every single aspect of your life. Because not only are you trying to get over someone, but you're trying to better yourself and you're trying to grow. Okay? Especially when you're the person that messed up in a relationship, you need to learn some things about yourself so that you could be ready for the next relationship all right so my naturally embraced people this is my last key point and this is also important because this is what people fail to do when it's breakup time and let's move on and let it go and yada 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 which is setting boundaries okay I need for y'all to set boundaries. When you want to get over someone and y'all are done, y'all completely have broken up, you need to set boundaries. Because when you don't set boundaries, you can send mixed signals to one another or just him to her or her to him. And no one likes to uh, feel like they're being played with 
no one not likes mixed signals and even if y'all both are doing it it's just making confusion and it's keeping y'all here instead of here y'all are doing this constantly when y'all should just be doing this set boundaries setting boundaries and sticking to them okay you can't set boundaries and then keep breaking them or allowing him or her to break the boundaries because then i mean it's really ain't no boundary or they don't think you serious or for real okay so if you be like or like let's say if y'all have kids together if you be like don't text or call my phone unless it got something to do with the kids Nothing to do with me, nothing to do with me and you, strictly the kids. But they call you and they start out talking about the kids, but then start easing into a conversation about you. Cut the conversation off. Or if it's a text, just don't even text back. Or you can remind them, look, this is what I said and I'm sticking to it. So other than that, you won't get a response from me. And keep doing it. Every time that they try, keep doing it. And keep doing it and keep doing it till they finally get the point. It may take 5, 10, 15 times, but if they see that you're serious and you're sticking to it, it will work. And I mean, even if you don't have kids, if you have an ex and they feel like they can keep popping up at your house, don't answer the door. If they didn't call before they came over, don't answer that door. I don't care how sad or how important they may make it feel or seem, don't answer that door okay so you know little things like that is what you can do as far as setting boundaries if you need to go block somebody on social media or off your phone do that set those boundaries so they'll know that you're serious and that you're not playing and what i say go that's it all right my naturally embraced people that's all that i have today for my woman chat wednesday i hope that these key points really have helped you or will help you and I hope that y'all enjoyed my content. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like this video. Share it and also comment anything that you would like to comment down below. And I will make sure I respond. And I hope that y'all have a nice day. And I'll see y'all next time.